Hey guys, welcome back. Today on Epic Game World, we're here in Anime Adventures with the new unit Sosuke. And he is from the new Storm Hideout update. Here he is right here, Sosuke Heavy. We're going to be taking him in and evolving him. The first thing we're going to need to evolve him is 7,500 kills. Now let's go inside and find out what else we need to evolve him. So let's go ahead and we're going to unlock him. And then we're going to unequip him. All right, let's see. Where did he go? Here he is. All right, so to evolve him, we're going to need one lightning blade and then a bunch of random star fruits. Okay, so we have all the star fruits. All we need is a lightning blade. In order to get that, we're going to jump on over here to the raid area. And the way that you get this lightning blade is right here. You get it with the Tomos, and in order to get the Tomos, you have to do these raids, Storm Hideout raids, and you get the Tomos from pretty much any one of these raids, but from the four, but from four, the Snake of Eight Branches, you're going to get between 12 and 18, and from five, the Final Confrontation, you're going to get between 22 and 28. So these are the two ones you probably want to do the most, because these ones, they really go uh, down a lot further on the amount of Tomos that you're going to get. Now, obviously, this raid can only be done three times a day, so make sure you do that uh, when you have the opportunity, as it will allow you to get your Tomos much faster. Now, once again, it's 350 Tomos for the Lightning Blade. We're going to go ahead and buy it. Here we go. And we have the Lightning Blade. Awesome. Check that out. All right. Let's go ahead and jump back over to the Evolution area. And we're going to go Evolve him. And then we'll bring him into a map, and we'll see what he could do. Now, I heard that he does handle air units on one of his higher upgrades. So let's see if that is true or not. Here he is. We're going to go ahead and evolve him. We have everything that we need. And he's going to get plus 30% attack plus Kirin. Suzuki Heavy is going to be evolved into Suzuki Storm. Here he goes. Nice, Suzuki Storm. All right, so let's go ahead first off. And we're going to lock him. And then we're going to equip him. Take him out and see what he looks like. Alright guys, so here he is, Suzuki Storm. He looks basically the same from what I can see. He doesn't really look different. And uh, his attack is magic and his secondary attack is lightning. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's jump into a map. And since he does supposedly handle air units, um, let's see what we could possibly do here. I mean, it's not until his higher upgrade. That's the only problem. So I guess just to be safe, we'll take him into Ghoul City. And we'll try him out there. And let's see what he could do. So let's take him onto an infinite map. All right, guys. So here we are in Cool City. Let's go ahead and get set up back here. See if we can get one of him placed before these units get too far. And he's only 1,200 to deploy. So that's really, really cheap. And it looks like his starting range is fairly large. So that's perfect. These guys aren't getting anywhere. Just try to set him up maybe, let's see, maybe about here. Come on, Suzuki. Let's get going. There we go. First one down. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put a few. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put a few Navi's back here, and then we're gonna set up our Jeffs. And once we're done, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're all done setting up our money units. Let's go ahead and take a look at him, Suzuki Storm. He deploys at 2,624 damage, 6.2 seconds with a 24.2 range. Not bad, not bad. And it seems like he's taking these guys out pretty good. Let's go ahead and get him to upgrade one. That's going to be 2,000. That brings us to 7,216, 6.2 seconds, 24.2 range. And I upgrade two already. He's getting a special attack plus Chittadori Lament. That's going to bring us to 9,184. SPA drops to 5.7 seconds, and range stays the same at 24.2. That's 2,500. Let's do that now and see what it does. Chittadori Lament. Okay, so he's doing some type of like smash attack here. Lightning smash attack. All right, and he's taking out multiple units. That's always good. Let's go ahead and get him to his upgrade three. It's going to be 3,500. Brings us to one, 14. It's going to be Brings us to 14,433, 5.7 seconds, 25.2 range. 
Upgrade 4 is 4,000. That's going to bring us to 18,369, 5.3 seconds, 25.2 range. And now upgrade 5 is going to give us another attack, plus Onyx Chitadori. That brings us up to 32,803, 5.3 seconds, and a, just a slight bit increase in his range, 26.3. Let's do that for 5,000. Onyx Chitadori. Let's see what that does. Still a smash attack. They changed the, um, I guess, the animation on it a little bit. Looks like he's doing more of a... Can't really tell. Still some type of electrical or lightning attack. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving here. Upgrade six is going to be 6,000. That brings us up to 39,364, 4.8 seconds, 26.3 range. Upgrade seven is 7,000. That brings us to 52,485, 4.8 seconds, 26.3 range. And now on his upgrade eight, it's gonna be plus Kirin. That's going to bring us up to 78,728. His SPA is going up quite a bit, 4.8 to 7.6, but his range is also increasing from 26.3 to 35.7. So here we go, 15,000. Actually, first let's see if he's doing flying units yet. Uh, no flying yet. Okay, so this 15,000 plus cure, and this must be it right here. And let's see. He is now doing flying, and he has some type of electrical dragon. Check this out. There we go. So he's doing fly units right now. That is on his upgrade eight. Let's go ahead and move on to his upgrade nine. That's 20,000. That brings us up to his maximum level. That's 104,970 every 7.6 seconds with a 36.8 range. That's pretty good. So let's see how many of these guys you can place. We'll figure out how much total damage he does. That's two, three, four, so you can place four of him. So that means he's going to be doing over 400,000 damage every 7.6 seconds with a 36.8 range. If you can get all four placed and upgraded fully. And he's handling air units. So not bad at all. Range is pretty decent. And his attack is also really cool. So I, I like him. I have to say he's a win. That's Sasuke Storm from the Storm Hideout update. And um, definitely a cool unit. I would say I'd say he's a keeper. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you never miss another video on Epic Game World. See you next time.